bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from Psalm 55, and we'll begin reading at verse number 12, and it says, For it was not an enemy that reproached me, then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hated me that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, a man my equal, my guide and mine acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked unto the house of God in company. Amen. Sometimes we get hurt by people in church. You know, sometimes the, the deepest hurt comes from those within uh, the local body, the local congregation in which we are a part of. Uh, when someone in the body hurts us, that hurt runs deep. The psalmist understood that. He said, if it was from an enemy, I could understand it. I could understand an enemy who hates me doing certain things against me. But someone that I go to church with, someone that I fellowship with and praise God with, that's a different kind of hurt. That hurt runs deep. And God understands that um, even though that is not his will for members of the body to hurt one another, he understands that it yet happens. And what is a blessing about it is that if, you're, if you find yourself in that situation right now, God wants to comfort you. Amen. He understands it. Amen. He said it out in his word and of how terrible a hurt that this can be. When someone who you go to church with, uh, you go to the house of God in company with, uh, betrays you, um, speaks lies about you, uh, spreads false rumors about you, that is something that could really challenge you in your faith. But there's two things God wants you to know. One, don't let it get you out of position. Continue to walk with him uh, despite the hurt and the pain. Uh, do not try to get retribution or seek revenge or have a hardness of heart toward that person. Forgive them and release them from it in the name of Jesus Christ. And as you do that, then the comfort that God has for you will be yours. Amen. Uh, he will comfort you through the pain. He will hold you up when you feel weak and you feel as if you can't go on. Because he truly does understand the depth of your pain. And so God wants us to be encouraged to, today that when that time comes, and if it's before you right now, where someone in the church has hurt you, quickly forgive them and release them in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you know that is the Father's will for your life. That you are to forgive others. Amen. And then secondly... As you do that, put yourself in a position and just openly receive God's comfort. Because God wants to comfort you and strengthen you so that you can rise up above this hurt, as deep as it may be, and continue on with Him. Because He yet has something great in store for you. So be encouraged today, amen, and know that God understands. And He is waiting to comfort you. He's there with His arms open wide. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged and know that Jesus loves you and his love never fails.